Hey guys, Jordan from New Camp here. Today we're going to be going over the winterization process for the 2023 TAB 400. The basic process is pretty simple. We're just going to be draining all the plumbing, blowing out the lines with compressed air, and then putting antifreeze into the system. Let's get started. We wanted to note the winterization process for the TAP 400 will be the same for the 2021, 2022, and 2023 model years. Drain locations may vary depending on the model year. The first thing you want to do is put the Nautilus into power fill mode using the key on the sticker. Next, you'll want to open your freshwater tank drain valve as well as the hot and cold low point drain valves to let any liquid drain out. You'll then want to empty the black tank. It's best to do this at a dump site using a sewer hose. Then, open the gray tank to let any excess water drain out. Once it's empty, close it back up. On the inside of the camper, you'll find the drain for the water heater underneath the bed. You will need to remove the panel under the bed to get access. Lift up the lever on the drain valve and let it drain until it's empty. Once everything is drained, go ahead and close the valve back up. You'll want to close the freshwater tank drain as well as the low point drain valves for the hot and cold lines. At the Nautilus, you'll want to put each of the knobs at a 45 degree angle. Using the City Water Inlet, remove the screen and attach an air compressor to the Nautilus panel to blow out the lines with air. This will remove any trapped water from the lines. Open up each of the lines one by one. Blow out the line using 40 psi and then close it back up. Repeat the process for the hot and cold low point drains, the fresh water tank, and the gray tank. On the inside of the camper, you'll want to do the same thing for the drain for the water heater. After you're finished, replace the bed panel and secure it. Once you've blown out all of the lines, you can disconnect the air compressor. Be sure to put the screen back into the city water inlet. Then turn the knobs to the winterized position using the keys on the sticker. Attach your garden hose to the city water inlet. Put the other end of the hose into the antifreeze jug or bucket. After that, you'll want to turn on the water pump to begin the siphoning process. You'll hear the pump stop when the lines are pressurized. Then we'll go to the inside of the camper and open each faucet and fixture until it runs pink. You'll want to open the faucets in the kitchen and the bathroom. Be sure to run both hot and cold. Then turn on the shower. Next, you'll want to put some antifreeze down the shower drain to keep the trap in good condition. Go ahead and put some antifreeze in the toilet as well to protect the shutter valve. Back on the outside of the camper, you'll want to hook up your external shower hose and turn on the hot and cold tap to run antifreeze through them. We hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to reach out to us here at tech at newcamprv.com if you still have any questions. Thanks for watching.